Oh, join me back here at the long drop again. Uh, yesterday I was down at the roundhouse and we had a good session going through all of the photographs again, going through the entire book, the layouts that I started putting together, working out which bits were going to stay, which bits were going to go, and then trying to find photographs um, which were the right ones to start filling in the bits of the story that were missing. Um, and really, actually, it's, it's Part of the process is working out which bits of the story we're going to tell because there's so many aspects of this uh, of this whole album and there's so many aspects to each story that we're really having to choose which bits we want to say um, and then finding the images for those bits rather than just finding images for the whole thing. And then we've got the whole order in which those things happen and whether it's actually a chronological order or whether it's just a logical order that we put those images in to make it a, a book that has a good flow and something that you can look start to finish or dip in and out of and so on. So here's hoping. We're, uh, we're part of the way through on that. We've still got a lot of work to do. I can see that the book is going to be one of those things that's going to be right up to the wire. Today, um, Emmy has started doing some of the annotations, which is great. Um, we've got some, you know, quite a lot of images in there, in fact, which we know are staying and we know the positions of them. So um, there's a lot of annotations that she can already get started on, which is good. And then over the next couple of days, we've got more images searches and more um, sorting of those to, to try and get exactly the right mix, the right blend of images and, and stories and so on through the book. And then Emmy then needs to do all of the annotations again for all the bits, of, extra bits that we put in. But uh, as you may have seen on the last blog, uh, our immediate deadline is the 10 inch inners and the bags, which the 10 inch go into and the outside of the box and the 10 inch inners have um, have actually gone off today I've got them off a day early um, a day early so they've, they've gone off and they're just going to be checked I mean they're, they're, a, they're there a day early so that the guys can check them and make sure that everything's okay for what they need um, so that we've got a bit of time in hand if they come back and say oh then we need this and that and so on and the outer box is actually going to be going off tomorrow, but there's been some little changes go to the outside of the box. Nothing major, nothing that's going to change it from what you've seen already, apart from some lovely little things that we're going to introduce, which I think I'll tell you about later. But I'm so excited. In fact, quite a lot of the team are so excited to uh, to see these these bits that have been introduced. Um, for the outside of the box, but um, the inner bags um, have been shared today with, with everybody and everybody seems to be quite excited about those as well. And one of the exciting things that's happened over the last couple of days is it's starting to work with the footprints that have been sent in. So all of these footprints that we've got that come all the way around the world are actually starting to come into the artwork now and it's been uh, really exciting to see that happen and see how it's going to get weaved in and, and um, how they're going to be used. So. Um, that's that's a really good major step actually a, a, a step that has been probably two years in the back of my mind um, when we've been planning this since the original concept that we put in for um, how the cover was going to work and you wouldn't believe the twists and turns this has gone through to get to the point that we're at now and, and I wouldn't change a thing because I'm so pleased with how everything's um, gone together for the sleeve image and uh, how everything's being used um, but it was quite a journey to get there but these, um, but the footprints are looking great in other places throughout the artwork, not just on the sleeve, which is really, really good news. And yeah, having having thought about this for such a long time, and then having planned the whole process, I mean, it's no mean feat putting out a, a request to fans all over the world to send us your footprints, and then be put into a position where we'd need to actually do something with them because there's a big difference between asking for people's footprints and then actually being able to uh, accommodate a thousand footprints. Um, it's, it's, it, it's a mammoth task. So actually what we did was we concentrated first on doing some tech, doing some really uh, complex tech and image manipulation that was actually built into the website that everybody used to upload their footprints. 
And that did quite a lot of the groundwork for me. Um, and I spent quite a lot of time on that code trying to make sure it was going to handle all the bits that I needed it to. So when I actually ended up working with the footprints over the last couple of days, um, it, it was amazing. It was just amazing how much I appreciated all that work that I put into the code in the first place before we launched that website because I had a whole load of footprints that I could work with. I knew where they were. I could call upon them very easily. I could arrange them very easily. And uh, the interesting thing about this, this artwork actually is there's, there's, there's quite a lot of aspects that we're using JavaScript for. And it's a it's a complete twist flip of the industry, really, that I'm using online technology to create an offline device. Um, it, it's it's actually usually completely the, the flip side of that. You're using off um, offline technology to make your online technology work. So um, that's uh, that's quite neat. But what it means is using online technology to create some of the artworks means that we can do some exciting things later. Um, when it comes to doing some online projects. So more about that later, but there's some exciting things to come. So, um, yeah, so many things in my head to juggle, so many things that I want to get out there and, 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 and have you guys see. Uh, but they're, they're all working really nicely together, and the package is coming nicely together, and the way the package fits into the future is, is working really nicely too. So before I give away too much, I ought to probably say... That's probably enough for tonight. I probably need some sleep. And tomorrow I will be sending off the outer packages and getting on with a bit more about the book and a bit more about case bounds because we've got some heavy deadlines coming up then. But until then, 